in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the hair that I have in my head. Um, this hair was sent to me by ccextensions.com for a review, so I'm going to give my honest opinion. I'm going to tell you pros and cons about the hair, and uh, let's get started. Okay, so to start, I just want to show you the little packaging that it comes in. Do, 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 do. and it just says hair extensions reusable 100% human hair it is 18 inches it does say seven pieces on here but and I actually got 10 pieces and it says it's 140 grams and it's in the color 1b or should I say it was in the color 1b because when I um, got the hair and I held it up to my head I noticed that my hair was too light for the hair so I went to the store so that I can put a rinse in my hair just so I can get it darker so I can wear the hair see how I like it and everything didn't want to commit to a permanent dye went to the store and I was intrigued by this L'Oreal healthy looks this is some good stuff but um I thought that I got brown I got home put it in my head and realized it was black you understand if you guys watch my my um if you guys are regulars to my channel you will know that I can't deal with black dye when I put black dye in my hair my hair dies on the floor I'm so scared like petrified but let me take that back I'm not as scared as before because this is a rinse so it's gonna rinse out there's no ammonia in it and also when I rinse it out and I start to style my hair my hair was very soft and it's never felt like that before if I put black dye in. When I put black dye in my hair, it always feels like a strong protein treatment. My hair just crackles and falls on the floor. So my hair is still soft, as you can tell. It's soft, it looks movable and everything, looking good. So we're okay with that. But uh, when I dyed my hair and I noticed it was black, then I held the hair up to my head and realized that now my hair is too dark for the hair. So what I had to do is I had to go back to the store and get another dye, well another rinse, and I have two. I did one in my real hair and one in the extensions. So now my hair is matching. So now let's get into me showing you the hair. Ta-da! Yes, girlfriend, it is long. Yes, 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 as you can see, long. Let me just, let me just get up for you. Okay, as you can see, it is very long, right here and I have all the hair to the front so now let's talk about pros and cons I don't want this video to be like too long so we're gonna talk about pros and cons the pros are that these clips that are in my head are so strong let me take one out You're like girl she about to take a one of her little clips out on camera I sure am I do not care okay here we go I do like how they make these little tiny ones. They're so cute. And I'm going to show you a picture of the hair just laid out. And it's late. And when I show you the, the, well, not a picture, but a clip of it being laid out, it was before I dyed it. So you'll see the, the color that it came with. But you get like four of these little ones. So I have two on this side and two on this side. But these clips right here are so strong. They're stronger than the ones that I, that I made. Because I, if you watch my videos, you know that I have clipping extensions. And these clips are so strong, you do not have to worry about them falling out of your head. You don't have, well, I don't tease my hair before I put clips in. But if you have silky, straight, smooth hair, you may want to tease a little bit. But once they're in your head, they're in your head. Another thing is that I braid my hair. So I don't, um, I don't just part clip, part clip. I actually braid my hair as if I'm doing a sew-in. But instead of sewing the hair in, I clip them. If you want to know, like, how do you do that? I have a video. I'll post it down below. It's like two years old, but I do exactly the same thing. So the video is never going to get outdated because I do the exact same thing. And then you get to see how I clip in, clip in extensions. But I'm loving the clips. Now, on to the cons. Because there's nothing in life that's perfect. I don't care what nobody says. There's nothing in life that is 100% perfect. So, um, the thing that... It's kind of conned about it is it's thin that's the thing I see here looks like this is doubled yeah with this being doubled it looks singled so it's almost like they would have to put four tracks on one so and this is all the hair pulled forward and this is kind of thin for me there are some women that if you have a really tiny head like little M&M chocolate head then um, you're fine but if you have like a big hair like M&M peanut size head like me you're gonna need a little bit more hair so you may need two packs but you 
let me take that back. You might work with one for the simple fact if you clip in your hair the traditional way, meaning you part, you clip, you part, you clip, and all your hair is out, exposed, you may can get away with just one clip because your hair is helping the extensions thicken up. But I don't do that because I treat this as a protective style. I don't like my real hair dangling and flanging and wangling between the extensions because to me, with my hair texture, it gets tangled with the fake hair. And then, you know, sometimes the girls that keep their, their comb in their purse, they be going like this throughout the day and they be combing and everything. And if you comb in and your real hair all up in there, you constantly combing your hair. And black girls, if you're not black and you're watching this video, turn to your left, turn to your right and ask one of your black friends. If they comb their hair all day. When you black, you can't be combing your hair all day. I'm talking about your real hair. You know, you keep these at home. You know, a girl with a comb in her purse is a girl with a weave. Girls with real hair usually don't carry per don't carry combs in their purse. And they do, they rarely use it. Because you're gonna have all this shedded hair all over the place. You can't be combing your hair all day. That's not good for your hair, it's gonna fall out. So that's why I like to keep my hair hidden. Um, so it is kind of thin. If you do the technique that I do, it is kind of thin. But if you wear your hair out, it's going to be just perfect. But I'm just obsessed with the way this is like, uh, 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 just tight. I love it. And the other con that I have is that it doesn't take very well to rinses. Like this rinse. There are certain parts of this hair that came out black, but there are, are some parts that still have a hint of brown to it. It didn't like, the the um, the rinse did not cling right to it. Uh, I don't know how it is about dyeing and bleaching because I haven't done that yet, but as far as rinses, you may have to leave it on double the time that's on this box. So I think this box is like 20 minutes, so you may have to do it for like 40 minutes, almost an hour, so that it can stick. Now on to the prices. Let's see, I'm using my iPad. So let's see what we got here. Now, this hair comes in 15, 18, I think 20, 22, what else? Come on. Okay, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. So it goes all the way from like 15 to 30. Or no, I think that makes 18 to 30. And then it comes in 120 grams, 140 grams, and 160 grams. You don't have to just get the clips. They do have the version that you can get with, you can sew it in. So if you want to buy it sewn in, and then you can make your own clips so you can customize it. But I kind of like all different size clips because whether your head is small or big, you can customize them yourself on your head. Like, I, I was so used to having long tracks putting here, but I, I didn't have those because they don't, I think the longest one is like this long. So I took two middle sized ones and I put one here and one here, and it was like perfect. I, I, I love having like all different sizes. It's like amazing. They start off at $84.99, and for $84.99, you can get an 18 inch, but 120 grams. So that means you'll have seven clips. So it'll be a little thinner than this. But the one that I got. I believe it's a hundred and four dollars. Let me just double check. A hundred and one dollars and ninety nine cents is the one that I got. Now let me show you the back. And it comes down to my waist. And don't mind my black pants. Well, my black shorts because I'm not wearing pants right now. But it comes down to my waist. And as you can see, it thins out once it gets down to the the bottom. And that is a good thing though because it makes it look more realistic and it's not just a blunt end so I really like it like it a lot and I have my real hair out on the top so I have like this much out I'm like Bleh. overall would I pay for these yes I would I would definitely pay for them because I like the texture the texture is not 100% African American texture but it's not like Caucasian texture, it's like kind of in the middle. And it's that happy medium where like Caucasian women can use it and black women can use it. But you're going to have to get your, your hair completely flat ironed. You don't have to have a relaxer, but your ends have to be really, really straight. Because you don't want it to see where your real hair stops and the relax. I mean, where your real hair stops and where the, the fake hair starts. So you don't want that. But it can, it matches like relaxed hair. That's what it does match. Or someone that can get their hair flat ironed to perfection. That's what it matches. Then, um, let's see what else. I, I do like how it thins out, so I would buy it for that fact. The only thing is, I would buy two packs. Even if I don't use 
all like because I would have 20 pieces even if I don't use all 20 pieces I want that option there you know what I'm saying I feel like 10 is not enough but I do kind of feel like 20 is too much so I probably would use like 15 or something like that but yeah I would really I would really have to buy two packs I really think so um the only thing is I think you don't get enough hair for the price I think that you should get a little bit more than 10 pieces for the price or that they should put more hair on the clips but the overall texture of it and how it blends with my hair and how it feels and it's just like like moving and all that stuff I'm, I'm in love yes I, re I really do and my mom and my sister saw it because I went to the door and answered the door and they're like oh my god is that the hair that you got it it looks so good it looks so good <laughs> thank you <laughs> okay so now let me show you the website I had to sit back down because I was kneeling on my knees and oh I'm getting old but this is what the website looks like. I don't know if you can see it or if this is blinding you guys, but it looks like this. Let me actually take you to the, the home page. And it's cchairextensions.com. This is what it looks like on the front screen. I don't know if you can see that. Do, 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 do. That's what it looks like. I will put the link in the bottom bar. Um, the stuff came to me really, really fast. It came to me less than a week. But um, let me see where they're located. Hold on. Okay, they are located in zip code 91770. So they're in California. And I'm in Connecticut. So we came all the way across the country in less than a week. So, uh, hope you guys like my review. If there's any other questions that you have, this is my first review. So be nice. Guys, be nice. And I forgot to show you, but this is the uh, amount of shedding that I have experienced since using the hair for the last week. Just wanted to show you that. Yes, it does shed a little, but at least it's not shedding like a cat or like a homeless dog. Pretty good. Not that much. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. If there's any other questions that you have about the hair, just let me know. And I can't wait till this black dye starts to lighten up because I feel like it's making me look washed out. I don't, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. I haven't had my hair black in years. I think the last time I had my hair black was like in 2004 or something like that. Something crazy. But um, with my, oh, this thing is blinking for talking about my battery's about to die. So let me just talk about this really, really quickly about my makeup. I see some comments on the other two videos that you guys are going crazy over my makeup and you want me to do makeup tutorials. Well, I bought a ton of more makeup, like different color eyeshadows. So I will be doing some makeup tutorials. Hope you like my makeup today. I'm actually feeling it myself. <gasps> I will be doing some makeup tutorials, so check that out in the future, which will, the future will be like next week. I'll be doing some makeup tutorials. And I also have a haul, a couple of hauls for you guys and everything. But I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye. Just a growing, yes, they are. Just a growing, growing, growing. I really love this. Oh my gosh, I haven't had long hair like this in a long time. I hope I don't get scissor happy and decide to cut it. Oh, oh Lord, let me put this clip back in here and had it out too long. Clip, clip. There we go. How are you doing? Instant gratification. They done gave sisters clip-ins. Ooh, they don't know what they did now. First we had weeds. It took us hours in the salon. Now you gave us clip-ins. Holla, can't tell us nothing.